Tesla FFD V12 has already been released for a while, and there are many videos online about it. And Tesla also has significantly dropped the FSD price, and the purchase of it is currently $8,000, and the subscription is dropped down to $99 per month. So when it comes to the purchase decision, and some of the older Tesla owners might wonder if the Tesla FSD V12 also works smoothly on older Tesla. Here come into this video that I have a 2018 Tesla Model X, which is roughly around six years old. And last week I just got a V12.3.4 update. Today I'm gonna do a road test. And this is 9 a.m. in the morning, rush hour in the Boston area. And now let's get started. Now let's get started. I'm currently on the Tesla FST V12 and today I'm using the chill mode and which is we're gonna take, take it easy a bit on the road. And one major change I feel on the V12, if you can see from the screen, is the automatic speed limit, which is a really nice feature that the car is actually going to adjust the speed limit based on the road condition and the model will actually predict what kind of like speed limit I should use when it's driving. So if you still remember from the last video, and if you go to this road, and it's actually driving pretty fast previously. And now I feel it's on reasonable speed that I give the driver more comfortable and when FSD is navigating. Okay, so here we come to this uh, crossing and it's checking and then it just go very smooth. And here we're gonna do a left turn. And this is a bit of like open road. Oh, in here we're gonna do a right turn. So we're gonna get on the highway. So we'll see how it actually does. I think it's checking the car coming from the left, but it's trying to stay in its comfort zone. And we didn't see a lot of the hesitations, which is actually pretty good. And one major issue that kind of bothering me in the FSD V11, and especially on this older car is like, it has a lot of hesitations. It just continue to bump and continue to brake when it's feeling is dangerous. But in this version, I have been driving this, I think in the last a few days, and I feel that's significantly reduced. And mostly like the, the car is feeling really comfortable. So here we're on the I-95. This is a highway and it has Wow, this has a bit of traffic here. And I think we need to squeeze into the, the left lane. And we see the car, okay, it's found a spot. Okay, nice. So in today's test, I'm trying to use the same road as I drove last time. If you still remember in my previous video, I have tested the FSD V11.4.9 and it has, I think, a lot of issues and I interrupt the FSD five or six times. And today I'm gonna drive the similar road. I think uh, we're gonna go through the road that has two roundabout and also go through the road that have five directional traffic lights and then we'll see if it really improves. So one thing about the, the automatic speed limit, as I mentioned earlier, and it is automatic on the city street, which is really nice. But it also gives you the option on the highway that you are still able to adjust the speed limit. Now let's say in this state highway, the speed limit is 55. And I want to drive 60 or 65. And you can still turn it up and the car will actually drive faster. And if you say, I'm just want to stay at 55, and then you can also drive on the 55. So you still have that option on the highway which is pretty neat feature. Yeah. I see the, the automatic speed limit start engage in here. And it just continue to adjust based on the road. Beep. 
which is definitely the I feel this is the biggest feature in this update and the speed limit has been bothering me for a while I think this is since the beginning of I, I started use the, uh, the FSD beta from V10 on V11 okay I think it's letting this bus go it's kind of like a nice driver and in front of us there's a uh, two traffic lights which is we're gonna take a left turn and then immediately we're gonna take a right turn so the car needs to merge to the right lane after the first traffic light very quick and from the last video the FSD V11 actually made it and in today's test I think this is even more challenging because we have more traffics in today's road so we'll see how it does this time I think it's trying to take the left lane then I need to pass this truck I feel this is still one of the most challenging part in on my, on my commute to the office because the space is going to be really tight if the car wants to squeeze into the right lane after the first traffic light oh it doesn't even have the left lane here interesting so this makes it even harder i think the car is waiting to get into another lane so it's trying to take it great let's squeeze in but one improvement here could be when we merge the left lane i think it should actually turn on the signal light which is it didn't do it so it just might be a bit confused to the car behind me now we start going oh i think uh so the so the double lane situation it would disappear because today there's only one lane so that actually make it easier in our situation but we did have a complicated scenario the right before the first traffic light going to merge to the right and you can tell like the merge it's actually very smooth and no any hesitations at the time the car feels it should merge and it would, it would just merge and if it shouldn't merge uh, it won't move and that's a definitely an improvement so here we are not far away from the first roundabout i think this is probably the most challenging part in this road that is the double lane roundabout in my previous video the fsd v11 completely failed on this roundabout and we'll see if it can work for the way 12. so we started entering into the roundabout okay it's moving there's no car coming from the other direction so far it's good and now we are exiting the roundabout so it works and no hesitations no bumps very smooth that's great and here after the first roundabout we have the second roundabout okay there's also no car from the other direction so it just goes I think so far I can see V12 is really improved a lot. So on the internet there might be criticism or other reviews about the FSC V12 and especially if you use it the first time and you still see some issues and then you might say hey this is really not working completely but if you really experience the FSD beta from the very beginning, so, so that, like I started using FSD beta since the V10 and V11, there are many versions in front of this one, and you really feel this is a huge improvement. And the car is becoming much more smooth and much more confident. I have to say, I think this is definitely great work from the Tesla engineering team that actually make this feature improve this much. So if you remember from the last video, and in front of us, there's a five directional traffic light. And last time the FSD completely fell because it started going when it turned to right and it didn't go when it turned to green. I think it's just looking at the, the wrong light. We can see from the visualization is it turns to green. That means it's looking at the right light. 
Okay. I think we'll just pass. So there's no issues. And the last time is looking at this light, this right traffic light, which is for the for the other direction. But this time it, it, it works good. And from here, you can see the visualization is actually really good. There's like another row from that direction and there's a parking lot there. So I think it just capture every detail of the current road condition. I think if we see this is the parking lot and there's the other road and the visualization actually really accurately simulated. And once again, uh, the car I have is a 2018 Tesla Model X. Originally, it was on hardware 2.5, and then we did an upgrade to the hardware 3. So I'm gonna merge it back to the right lane. So just because we almost hit the, the place that we need to take a left turn. And I want to see if the car can merge to the left lane itself to avoid the, the situation that from the last video that I actually failed to. Okay, actually merge very early this time, which is great. I think it's trying to see like, hey, we have 0 0.2 miles away from the left turn. So it's trying to merge to the left lane early. So it's definitely smarter in this version. Okay, now it goes. Here we have a left turn, but there's no cars. I think uh, this is definitely not complicated at all. So I'm taking over from here and get the car parked in the parking garage. So, so far from the FSD test, I think it is pretty impressive to me. So I think it comes two parts if I put this into a summary. And first, it's the automatic speed limit. I think that's a huge deal. And that helps a lot on the city street that the driver doesn't need to worry about like sometimes the car is driving too fast, sometimes too slow, that you have to constantly adjust the speed limit. And that really helps a lot. And the second is the confidence of driving. I feel the FSD Way 12 is really confident comes to driving on the road and if i would say fsd weight 11 is like 30 or 40 percent confident that way comes to the complicated road like a roundabout i think more than half of the time it's not confident and there's a lot of hesitations when you're driving and a lot of bumps but come to the fsd weight 12 i would say it will be like 80 to 90 percent confident but most of the scenarios the car at the time it wants to go it will just go if it shouldn't go it will not go and that is great. I think that's kind of also give the driver more confidence to engage the FSD and actually use it. But one thing again, I think uh, I, I have mentioned this in my another video that like you shouldn't mess up with the FSD and then even though it's become better, it's like different topic, but you should always pay attention on the road and keep your hand on the wheel. So I hope this video could be helpful for especially some of the old Tesla owners and when it comes to the decision if you want to purchase the FSD or subscribe it and to me I feel it has a lot of improvements from the FSD V11 what's your thoughts on the FSD V12 let me know and leave your comment below and I'll catch you up in the next video